and welcome to my final morning energizer. Okay, so we're in week four, so we're coming to the end of the lockdown. Um, so this is going to be the end of this workout section, okay? Or this playlist, this workout playlist, as it says on YouTube. So we're going to start with a quick warm up, followed by 10 exercises. 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off, just like the rest of them. So we'll start by looking up, look down, look to the right and the left, and look up and down, right, left. Now just bring your ear down to your shoulder, get a nice stretch of your neck there and go to the other side and up. Okay good, so just bring, swing your arms. Okay and backwards. And just sway from side to side. Get a good twist of your torso. Okay, and reach up and go up onto your tippy toes and down <coughs> and try to touch the ground. From there, bend one leg and straighten out the other one. You come up into so you have one leg bent and the other straight. And swap over. And again, so you get a nice stretch on the inside of your leg. And last time. Okay, and just um, I want you to twist your ankle and your wrist, if you can, do it at the same time, and the other way, and swap um, legs and hands. So a lot of time, times you work your feet, so to turn the other way, you work your feet and your ankles and your wrist and they just don't get that warm up that they deserve. Okay, so if you're going to use them, you need to warm up. Just stretch to the side and to the other side. And just rotate your knees and the other way. Okay, I have quite bad knees, so if ever I go running or anything, I always have to do some knee circles just twist them around. Okay, it helps to loosen them up. Kind of kick out. Loose though. And good. Okay, so just stretch down one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out and stretch down a bit further. And one more time, breathe in and out, getting that bit further. So every time you're doing a stretch, you're always trying to elongate yourself more. So you're trying to get the muscles to stretch and to loosen so you won't injure yourself, okay? So great, so grab a quick drink of water and I'm going to set the timer in about 30 seconds. So before I set the timer, I'm just going to show you the first exercise. Okay, so we're doing kind of a, a squat star jump type exercise. So we're going, you're going down into a squat and then you're jumping up, feet together, arms up in the air and then down and you keep going. Okay, so you squat and jump up. 
Okay, if you find that too hard, you can either do just normal jumping jacks or star jumps um, or just normal squats or squat jumps, whatever one works for you or even just the step arm and step out with your arm, okay, up to you. So I'll start the timer, we're going 10 seconds, turn up the volume. Okay, so down and up. Make sure that your knees don't go up beyond your ankles. If you can't get the form right, then you need to slow it down or do a modification. This one gets you working from the very start, get your heart rate up, get your legs activated. Excellent, okay, check out your legs. So the next one that you're gonna be doing, you're gonna do a walk out, then push up, then walk back. So you're walking out, you push up and walk back and stand up. Okay, so walk out, push up. You can do the push up from your knees if you want, but make sure you stand back up when, you're, when you come back up. And make sure that you get yourself into a nice straight line before you do your push up. So don't come halfway and then do some sort of push up with bent knees or or where you're kind of not fully in a straight line, okay? You still need to do the proper technique. Oh, I feel tired Okay, next what we're gonna do, you wanna do six punches with one arm, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, duck under, and six on the other one. Duck under. So count yourself. Remember, keep your arms up there. Make sure you're bringing, you're getting your knees, you're bending your knees. Don't just go like this, okay? You want to get that bit of a bend in your knee for the squat. Five, six, good. Excellent, okay. So next, we're onto the floor for full sit-ups. Now, if you can't do full sit-ups, then you can do just crunches. Okay, but if you can, then you're doing full sit up. Make sure that if you are doing a full sit up, that it is your stomach and your abs that are bringing you up. Okay, a lot of people tend to put their hands behind their head, but then what they end up doing is kind of pulling on their head and that causes injury. Also, don't use the force to push yourself up, okay? It's your abs that are bringing you up. Okay, excellent. So, now we're staying on the floor, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your knee <clears throat> to your elbow. So you come up as if you're going to do um, a, a plank, okay? And you bring your knee up to your elbow. Okay, do this quite kind of slowly because you're working your side out. If you find that hard, you can always come down to your elbows and do it, or you could just stay in.
in a normal plank. Make sure you're tucking in your stomach, squeezing it in. Excellent. Oh, and that one quite difficult. Okay, so next we're back up. Okay, and we're going to be doing six runs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, followed by a breath beat. So you can either go down to the floor, up, and the oils. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just go down, do a thruster, up and six again. Okay, up to you. Whichever one 
you feel most comfortable with, but do try to build up to get to this stage. Don't be complacent if you can't do this, um, the advanced version, okay? There's not, you won't be able to do the advanced version of everything, and that is fine. But don't think, oh well, she said I can do a monopation. So I'll just do that and I won't try to push myself a bit more, okay? Your fitness level goes up, then you need to make things a bit harder for yourself. That's the only way that you will improve in your fitness and in any goal that you have to do with your health and your well-being for your fitness part of that. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick cool down so if you want to bring one leg with the knee onto the floor and then your other leg bent and just stretch forward. Okay, raise up your arm, arms and sit back and forward again and back and again and back. And one more time, but we're going to hold this for a bit longer. I'm going to go back. Hold this for a bit longer too. So you're feeling the stretch. And swap legs. Okay, the heating is on. So I'm quite warm now. So stretching up. And sit back. And again, and back, oops, and again, and back, and one last time, so a bit longer, if you can't feel the stretch, just try to go down a bit further, and stretch back. Okay, excellent, up we come. So, just kind of pull your hand back towards you. Not too far though. And then pull it towards you again, but with your hand down. And just do a couple of wrists, twists, turns, and the other way. And the other arm, so hand. And <clears throat> down, pull it back, and twist your wrist, and back the other way. Okay, just bring your feet together, stretch up, and down, stretch up again, and down, and again, and down, and just hold it there. And slowly up you come. And down. Excellent. Okay, so that is the last one of the morning energizer. So there's eight now, so you have um, more than a week's worth of them. But it's not the end, okay? I will be coming back with more workouts and a different, different, under a different series heading, okay? I already have um, the like fast fit and the workout for seniors and this morning energizer and I'm sure there's a couple of others but then I have also some random ones that are just individual ones too okay so make sure that you subscribe so you can hear when I when I release new videos okay but this is not the end but I hope that I've helped you in your over lockdown and that you feel a bit better after doing these exercises if you have like share tell your friends okay people who you think will benefit from my videos okay so thank you very much and look after 
yourselves.